Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I have a Galaxy S4 and today I'm be showing you how to actually unroot it slash unbrick it. And now before we actually begin this video, I just want to let you know some tips and things that you should know. If you are planning on unrooting your device, your Galaxy S4, because you are planning on sending it back to Samsung or your specific carrier where you actually bought the Galaxy S4. In my case, let's say I want to send this back because uh, maybe a home button's messed up, right? So I need to get replaced by T-Mobile because this is a T-Mobile Galaxy S4 or any other car carrier, you know, Canadian, international, you're going to send it back to Samsung or, you know, you t uh, AT&T or whoever. Um, you need to uh, reset your binary counter. So if you ever rooted your device before, if you ever flashed a non-official firmware on your Galaxy S4, so that's including a custom recovery or anything like that, um, on your Galaxy S4, or if you ever rooted your Galaxy S4, you need to reset your binary counter. Now to do this, I'm not going to do it in this video because I just made a video. So click on the annotation right here to actually reset your custom binary counter for your Galaxy S4. It's going to work on any Galaxy S4 except the i9-500 as of now. Every other Galaxy S4 should be supported with that uh, reset binary counter um, and that does require root that's what I'm saying for you root users do that first because that app requires root and then for watch this video for unrooting so as long as we got that out of the way this video is going to cover almost all the Galaxy S4s so that's going to include the i9-500, i9-505 LT International all the Canadian variants so it's Rogers, Bell and Telus and all four major US, uh, US carriers so AT&T, Verizon, Sprint and T-Mobile so all four major US carriers as well so just about almost everyone's going to be supported so let's go and do this right away one thing to note before we actually do begin is it's going to delete all your internal memory, your music, movies, apps, everything, settings, everything's going to be deleted and um, that's going to do it. So make sure that you back it up or you're willing to actually uh, let that be deleted. Um, so once we get that all out of the way, go and power off your phone. It's going powered off and we're going to enter our phone into download mode. And this whole process will not take that long. It's not very complicated at all. So no need to worry if you're not a very tech sa savvy person. I'm um, just going to follow this video and a written step-by-step -step guide is down below as well. Um, so once your phone is actually turned off, we're going to go and press the volume down, home center button, and power button all at the same time. Once your phone vibrates, let go of the power, but keep holding it until the volume down and home center button. So all three, volume down, home, and power. Vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding it until the volume down and home center button. Now you're going to come to this screen, warning. Go and press volume up to continue. Volume up. All right, now it's going to say downloading. Do not turn off target. Now go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB right here and we're going to be doing this on a Windows computer so if you're running on Windows or anything earlier than that you're going to be A-OK -okay. so Windows 7, Vista, XP, etc, etc. Um, this video is going to work and Windows 8 of course which I'm running on so let's go and do this. Alright so I'm actually on my Windows computer right now so this is running on Windows you can't really tell but it is Windows 8. Um, if you're running Windows 7 or anything else it's going to be exact same steps so no need to worry about any different procedures or anything like that. Um, we're going to be downloading three files, all right? Um, so everyone's going to be downloading Samsung USB drivers if you do run into problems. So everyone just download it right now. Um, links down below for all the files and written step-by-step -step guides. So just click on the one link in the article down below, and they'll bring you to the step-by-step -step guide and all the files that you need. So Samsung USB drivers, SGH, so that's my specific stock TAR file. Now, if you're running on AT&T or International or Verizon or Sprint, you know, anything like that, you're going to have to download your specific TAR file link down below for the specific one that you actually need. So it's going to be located in the same article that uh, this file is located. So everyone down has to download individual different files. So it's going to look different. This is SGHM919 because that's my uh, model number for my T-Mobile Galaxy S4. It's going to differ from phone to phone from carrier. And then you also have Odin, which everything is download, uh, located in that one article down below. So first thing we're going to be doing is actually just Oh, uh, um, actually opening up. Um, it's going to come in a zip file automatically, so go and extract it. Just right click on the file and click extract, and then I'll come up to this file. And as you can see right here, um, it's, uh, it gives you this whole model number, so M919, and it says type MD5, so make sure it's MD5. It's going to come like that once you do download it and extract it, so it has to show up as MD5. Just keep that in mind, uh, just keep that in mind for when we open up, open up Odin. So now let's go and open up Odin, and oh, where is my mouse? There we go. Open up Odin and uh, do that, Odin 3 version 1.85 application. So make sure it's the application one. And that's going to open it up. Uh, select yes to grant it. And let me go and adjust my camera so you can see the whole application. All right, so here it is. One thing to know that everyone must have to actually make it detected is have this yellow bar. Now, if you don't have this yellow bar, there are some things that you can actually do to fix this. So I'm going to go and just uh, minimize this. 
And what I mentioned earlier was a Samsung USB drivers. You're going to want to install Samsung USB drivers and restart your computer, then reopen Odin and make sure your phone is plugged into. Um, and then you should get the yellow bar. If you still don't get that yellow bar, there's some other things you should do. So make sure you install the drivers if you don't get the yellow bar. And if that still doesn't work, then go ahead and change your USB port on your computer. That's one thing. Make sure you're using the original Samsung USB cable. That's one big thing. Samsung USB cable original. Make sure you're using that on your computer because that's a big factor. If those three options still don't work, you know, with the drivers, the uh, USB ports, and the USB cable, um, you can go ahead and try another friend's computer or go to your local library or your school and try it on there, and then it actually just fix the problem, uh, A-OK, or, you know, use another computer in your house. A lot of people have more than one computer. Um, so th those options should work, and that should fix your problem. If you're still getting problems, go in and contact me through, you know, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. All links are down below, and you can go and contact me if you need help on this, if you do keep running into a problem. Okay, so once we're back on Odin, you know, you got the yellow bar right there, and our phone is still in download, so it still shows download and it's still plugged in. Go and click on PDA and locate the MD5 file that I mentioned earlier. So click on PDA and locate the MD5. So mine's on my desktop, and then it was under this folder, and right here, so MD5 file right there. Make sure you download the correct TAR file, MD5 stock TAR file, for your specific model for your Galaxy S4. Select it, and it's going to say PDA. It automatically checks and marks it, so now you're good. And make sure only auto reboot is checkmarked here, nothing else. And make sure only PDA is checkmarked right here. And then you're done. Now go and click start. And this whole process will take about five minutes. Um, last time it took me five minutes and nine seconds, so it does not take very long, even though you get a massive file they have to download. Okay, so now it has a little loading sign. It, do it sometimes does this. I know I've noticed it does a lot more loading on Windows 8. Um, when I was running on Windows 7 on my laptop, it never did this. So just give it a few seconds, and in about 20 seconds, the loading will go away, and the progress bar will start up. Okay, so it actually finished spinning. As you can see, it's starting up now. Um, there's a little bit of green bar right there. Uh, I'll just keep talking so you can see a little bit more. So as you can see, system image and all that. Now it's going to system, and it's flashing all the stock files for your Android device. It's removing stock recovery. It's removing your root. It's removing everything. And make sure you did reset that binary counter if you are planning it on sending it back to Samsung or your carrier because they're going to know you messed or mo you modified your uh, Android device if you don't reset it and you need root um, permissions to do that, so make sure you root it before you do this. And there's the yellow green bar, so I'll be back in about, you know, five to six minutes when it's complete, and then we'll proceed. Okay, so this whole process only took about a few minutes, it's just about to end, it's about to restart, so um, I'm going to give it a few seconds and wait till it reboots, and then I'm going to change camera angles and show you what we're going to be doing next so we can get a nice fresh install of our device. So let's give it a few seconds and it's going to reboot. Okay, so reset and then pass. So once you do get pass, you're all good to go. And now you can unplug your phone and we're going to go and do the rest of the process. Okay, so I just missed it, but you're going to see this Android screen actually loading it up and uh, doing this whole recovery thing. So once the Android actually just passes by, you can go ahead and take out the battery because we're going to be entering into stock recovery mode and actually t um, doing a factory reset so we get a nice clean install. So once the uh, Android is uh, the Android uh, loading bar on the bottom is done, go and take out the battery and put it back in. And then once that is done, let me go and focus that for you guys. And put it back in. You can just uh, pop it the back side in too. We're not going to take out the battery anymore. And now we're going to press the volume up this time. The volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. Once your phone vibrates, let go the power. But keep holding at the volume up and home center button. So all three, volume up, home, and power. Vibration, let go, power. But keep holding onto the other two keys. And once you see this purple text right here, you can go and let go of everything. And it'll just slow down by itself. So now we're going to do a factory reset uh, in stock recovery. So now it's loading up. Let me clean off this dirty screen. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in, show you guys what I am talking about. All right, so we're going to go all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. So all the way down, wipe data size, factory set, and uh, control it uh, via um, volume up and down and power button. And so select it, and select yes. So let me show you right there, and select yes. And now it's going to be doing a factory set. This will take about uh, 10 seconds to actually do the whole process. So I'll be right back after this. Okay, so that is complete. Now let's go and, do the, um, let's go and reboot our phone now. So it's the very first one. So reboot system now, the very first one. Select it, and select power. And our phone's going to reboot into a nice fresh install. You're going to have stock recovery. You're going to be unrooted slash unbricked if you are uh, if you are bricked and watching this video. It's going to work as well. 
Um, and now once it's finished re rebooting, I'm going to show you that uh, you still you get that setup screen and you are 1% on stock and it's safe enough to actually send back to T-Mobile or any other carrier that you have uh, if you're planning on sending it back or send it back to Samsung or, you know, just keep it unrooted and keep it stock. And yes, there's that really, really loud uh, T-Mobile logo for my case. <laughs> so I'll be right back after it finishes uh, booting up and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so it took about five minutes to actually fully boot up. So now you're in your stock um, settings or setup screen. So I'm going to skip all this. Everything is stock. All the wallpaper is the same. Let me go and show you the lock screen now. Oh, lock screen. There we go. There's lock screen. So it's a stock lock screen, even though clock isn't showing up for whatever reason. All your sound is the same. You still have your bloatware if you have T-Mobile. So let me show you all the T-Mobile bloatware. Um, so you have a you know hotspot right there that's from T-Mobile. Um, you have your Samsung blower, so S Health and all that. If you removed it with a custom ROM, T-Mobile name ID, my account. Let's dive into settings and show you run stock and reversion. So go into more about device and right here you can see and reversion right there. So SGH M919, that's T-Mobile uh, specifically. Build number, SE links, kernel, and all that. So now you are one percent stock, unbricked, unrooted, uh, stock recovery is removed, and um, now you're good to go. So you can actually go and send this back to Samsung or your carrier for whatever reason may be um, something's wrong with it and you need to get replaced or repaired you can go and do this without them actually knowing you ever rooted it or installed a custom ROM or even you know soft brick your device um, so that's how you do it um, if you enjoyed this video this whole guide um, please hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as this really helped me out a lot um, uh, it really show, uh, shows your support and you know you want to see more of these videos guides hacks tips more and if you have a Galaxy S4 I have weekly ROM reviews um, that I'm going to be doing each week on this YouTube channel so be sure to subscribe for that and more just Android uh, videos in general too. And if you have any problem with this guide, be sure to contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. Links all down below. Thanks for watching. Links or all the files are down below in that one article and the link down below in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.